morning and happy Monday. I am heading to work. It's a new week. It's a full work week, which is kind of a bummer. <laughs> yeah, full work weeks in the summer are not cool. I'm still wearing that liquefied lip from Bite Beauty because I am obsessed with it. I love it so much. And I actually rarely wear uh, bold or opaque or lipsticks that are not necessarily um, like a neutral to work. Do that sentence even make sense? I rarely wear bold lipsticks to work is what I'm trying to say. For the last couple of weeks I have been wearing more vibrant colors to work and I am liking it. I love this color. I am so surprised I don't have anything this color in my collection yet. It's um even when I was looking at my reds, I do not own an orangey red anymore. And I used to really like cool tone reds. I think that just, like, you know, it's like your classic red lipstick, right? Um, but I'm definitely feeling this orangey vibe. Um, maybe I shall... I'm waiting for these... Uh, liquefied lips to come into the stores just so that I can swatch them. I think I have my eye on my next color which is more of a neutral. It's um, in chutney but I also do want to pick up some other colors. So we shall see. Hi! I can't really see anything through my sunglasses because I don't know if you can tell but they have fogged up because there's such a temperature discrepancy from the inside of my car currently says it's 32 degrees out so I'm heading home I'm very tired I was just in a two-hour meeting and it's kind of kind of long it was a good meeting but it was just long and it's weird to have it at the end of the day I don't do my best thinking at the end of the day <laughs> anyway I'm heading home and it's warm I have to get some wood filler so I can continue painting my desk it is a huge project and undertaking, but I'm so excited about it. I cannot wait to see the finished product, um, which hopefully I will be able to unveil by the end of the week. I'm gonna work on it a little bit every single night. Um, the off-gassing from the primer and the paint is making me see things, even though I'm trying to, I'll ventilate my house. I don't wanna do the painting in, in the garage because it's really dusty and I'd have to leave it there because obviously I don't just have like three straight days to work on it. I also don't want to do it in the basement because it's heavy as hell and it's going to be such a pain to like bring up and down the stairs. So in the middle of the foyer, it is. So I'm trying to keep all of the windows open and the fans going just to, so that we don't die from off gassing. But that is uh, the situation. Home time and then Home Depot, dinner. What are we going to have for dinner? I don't even know. Good morning, it is Tuesday and I am heading to work as per usual. I'm a little bit late leaving for work today. No particular reason, just was a little bit slow getting ready this morning. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things where I have a lot of stuff in my closet, but in the morning it just takes me forever to get ready. Uh, the solution to that is obviously a closet declutter, so I have less to choose from, so I just have to, I have to wear what I have because sometimes too many choices is actually not good. On another note, I am wearing a new lipstick. It's not actually new, but I'm trying to do this thing where I wear a new lipstick every day. So today's lipstick choice is the Giorgio Armani uh, Sheer lipstick in number 500. I really like this lipstick. I still love this lipstick actually. The formulation of these lipsticks is so good. I don't know if they even still make this lipstick anymore because this lipstick is probably three or four years old. It still applies exactly the same as when I first got it and that's why I really love it. Good morning and happy Wednesday today. Oh my gosh, the bow and I watched Game of Thrones on Monday night and it was very good. I don't remember if I vlogged yesterday. If I did, then I don't remember what I said. Maybe I was trying to do my lipstick of the day. Oh, speaking of, today's lipstick is the Dior Addict Extreme in, not Plaza, what's the other one? Lucky. It's more red than Plaza. Plaza is more of a blue, bluish 
based pink, like a cool pink. This is more of a warm, kind of ready color. Very similar to the Chanel in Monte Carlo, except the Dior version does not have any shimmer in it, whereas the um, Chanel Rouge Coco Shine has a bit of shimmer. And I decluttered that one because I have the two that are really similar. Hello friends, I am heading home. It's Thursday. I had an extra long day today because um, as I mentioned in previous vlogs, Thursdays are training days for me, like I have to facilitate training. And it just took extra long today. I didn't finish, I normally finish around 3.30, I didn't finish today until 4.30. So it was just a long day, but I'm heading home and the Bo isn't gonna be home because he is going to stay at work a little bit late today. Um, there's this huge um, issue on the highway, so he's just gonna kind of wait it out and leave um, in like maybe an hour or two and wait for the congestion to die down from well, of course, rush hour traffic, and then of course this issue closing um, several lanes on the highway. So it's just gonna be me. Um, lately, I have been eating breakfast and lunch, and sometimes having lunch a little bit later than normal, and just kind of having smaller meals throughout the day. So when it comes to dinner time, I'm not uber hungry. What have I done this week? I'm trying to think if there's anything worth even really mentioning. Um, oh, Glossier which you guys know, would you consider Glossier an Instagram brand? Because, I mean, isn't it kind of an Instagram brand? I don't think being labeled an Instagram brand is a bad thing. Like, I don't think it means that you're crap. <laughs> but people get really offended when you call brands, like Instagram brands. But to me, Glossier is an Instagram brand. But nonetheless, Glossier, is now shipping to Canada, which is really super exciting. I placed an order. Um, I haven't tried a lot of products from Glossier, mainly because it's a, well, up until now, been a US only brand. So I've only tried one thing from the brand and it was their priming moisturizer, I think. And I wasn't actually a huge fan of it. I just found that it was too, um, too watery and I just didn't like it on my like normal combo skin. The two things that I did pick up though is the Jelly Cleanser and then also the Haloscope in Topaz, which is I think the deepest shade of the three that they have. It's like more of the gold bronzy warm shade, which I'm very excited about. I placed the order on the day that uh, Canadian Shipping launched and it has been shipped, but it's coming from the States, so it's actually gonna take probably seven days to get to me. Um, so I'm just waiting for that to come in, and then I will show you guys what I picked up and how I like it, and then depending on how these two products go, I'll probably pick up some more things. So in case you are looking to order from Glossier, their Canadian website is in Canadian dollars, so you don't have to worry about the foreign exchange rate or um, foreign exchange fees. There is a little bit of a price bump from the US website to the Canadian website, so things are, you know, four, five, six dollars more expensive on the Canadian site. So it's a little bit more expensive in Canadian dollars than obviously US. Good morning, happy Saturday. Um, the Bo and I just picked up my car from the place that I got my hitch installed. So I went to this place called Action Trucks or something like that, Action something. We were supposed to pick it up yesterday, but didn't get a chance to do it. Um, so we picked up first thing this morning. This is like 10 o'clock right now. Today, we don't have a, we don't have really um, huge plans today. We are going to someone's housewarming thing. Um, one of our friends just recently moved out to Cambridge, so kind of far away, but they bought a place there and we're gonna go check it out. Anyway, I'll show you guys what the hitch looks like. I took a little clip of it while we were in the parking lot. I'm just picking the bow up because obviously we had to take one car there, now we're taking two cars home. So I'm meeting him um, actually at his parents' house and then we are gonna start our road trip. Okay, this is what our new trailer hitch looks like. So it's just at the bottom of our car, parcel really dirty, but look at that pretty trailer hitch. This costs 569 Eight. $580? Yeah. Hello, we are at my least favorite mall again, Square One, because we are on our way to Cambridge. 
Um, but there's a DCM store in here, so I want to check it out. Good morning. I've had to park my car outside because I am currently working on that desk inside. And I can't fit my car and my desk in the garage. So hopefully I finish um, at least the big portion of my desk today after work and then I can finally park my car back inside because I actually really hate parking it outside. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded if it actually rained because then I wouldn't have to take my car for a car wash. But alas, it did not rain pretty much the entire time I've been parking outside so my car has just been getting extra dusty and it's a little gross. Happy Monday, by the way. It's Monday morning and I'm heading to work. Hello, we just went to Costco. We're about to watch Game of Thrones. So I gotta change. I'm wearing, I was wearing uh, my red sweater this morning, but I had to switch into a thicker sweater because it is so chilly out. I think the temperature says it's about 17, 18 degrees, but there's a cool breeze and it's unseasonably cold. I wanted to wear a jacket today. Good morning, um, is it too windy? kind of have the window open, but I am heading to pick up my boss. My boss and I are carpooling today. Um, he's getting his car serviced, so um, he lives in the area. Um, so I'm actually just meeting him at the dealership and picking him up. I slept really crappy last night and I'm so tired. Do I look tired? Because I feel tired, I'm exhausted. I closed the window because it probably is a bit windy. I just needed some fresh air. But anyway, I am yeah picking up my boss right now. I have a weird work week, um, only in the sense that it's the annual work event at my organization. We basically celebrate um, every single year the anniversary of opening. So it's actually a really big event. Um, we're having rides. This is the second year we're having rides, and. Um, I will be here. It's on Wednesday. I have to come in the morning. I usually work the day shift because we have a, a huge work group. So we usually have two events, one in, during the day and one in the evening, just so that everyone has the opportunity to come. And yeah, I usually work the day because I make sure that the rides are good and the tents are good and everything's organized. And then I take tickets and you know escort people inside. But it's a fun time, so I'm actually really excited about it. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to find this dealership here, but I'll just catch up with you guys later. Hello, I'm home now, and I am going to be making dinner. Sorry my bra straps are showing. I hate that, but I was wearing originally wearing that blazer over there, and I got to start on dinner, so I'm going to do that before I change. And it's quite warm in here because the AC isn't on. Um, but anyway, I am going to make dinner. We're having broccoli and shrimp for dinner tonight and I want to have it ready for when the bow comes home but the bow's birthday present has arrived so I picked it up from Costco and I'll show you guys what it is I'm actually really excited about it it's kind of a present for him but I guess also kind of a present for me because well I'm excited to use it so I picked up this hammock if you guys can see that so it comes in a whole bunch of different colorways I'll link it below actually and I picked a tropical version and it's just a bunch of fun colors and I'm so excited to use this. Uh, of course, again, gift for the bow, but who says that I can't benefit also? Hi, I just got home from my work thing and I'm already in my pajamas. I'm about to do my nighttime routine and then I'm going to sleep because it's been a long day and it was very busy and I just need a break. But something exciting came in the mail today and it's my first Glossier purchase. Um, they started shipping to Canada a couple of days ago. I immediately placed an order and it has arrived. So I'm really excited. I only got two things just to kind of introduce myself to the brand, but I am definitely eyeing a few more things. This is what the outer box looks like. Glossier's packaging is obviously very Instagram worthy because look how beautiful this pink is. There is a Glossier sticker. I think this is a sticker. It says Glossier Summer 2017. This is, I believe, my invoice. Oh, it's actually not my invoice. It is um, just a little postcard. It comes in a really cute sleeve, though. Um, stickers, which I'm so excited about. This, of course, is the unmistakably Glossier packaging. So you can always distinguish Glossier packages because it comes in this um, really sturdy and reusable uh, Ziploc bag, which houses the products in. 
So I'm actually really excited to have this. I can just find so many uses for this. I'm always looking for something to store stuff in and I'm excited about this. Although I am so tempted to just pop every single one of these, but it seems to be, oh, there we go. I was gonna say, it's very tempting to just pop this whole thing. I'm gonna show you quickly what I picked up before my battery runs out, but I picked up the Haloscope in Topaz, which I'm very excited about. I'll probably use this tomorrow. And then I also picked up the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser, which I'm also really excited about. Of course, I had to bust out the stickers. So I put a bunch on the Milky Jelly Cleanser, as you can see. And then I also stuck one on the Halo Scope. Okay, so I just twisted this all the way up and this is not a lot of product for $27 but I heard really good things about it and I have swatched it and it's really pretty. Not a lot of product, but I shall still use it and I am very excited and I shall let you guys know. I'll probably use it tomorrow actually. Good morning, it's been a while since we've been in here, but I am getting ready. And I just wanted to show you guys like, kind of my quick everyday routine lately. Um, as you guys know, probably from a previous clip or a previous vlog, I'm trying to do like a project pan, and I'm also shedding literally everywhere. Okay, so now that I have um, my base on and I have the Bronze Universal on, I'm going to use the star of the show today, which is the Glossier Halo Scope in Topaz. I just received it yesterday. So this is a Dew Effect highlighter and um, I kind of swatched it a little bit earlier or last night. But as you can see, there is the pigment around and then there's actually a core of skincare. So that's how you get the really um, well, dewy look. So it gives you a little bit more of a shine on your cheeks. I was gonna say dewy again, but I've, I've said dewy 15 times already. Okay, let's just go in with it. Should I just put it straight on my cheeks? I know, notice people kind of warm it up in their fingers first, but I'm just gonna go bold. It does apply really nicely. It goes so well with my skin tone right now. I guess we'll just blend it in. So far, so good. I like it. Hey guys, I'm on my way to work and it's the Bo's birthday today. So happy birthday to the Bo. Um, we are gonna have um, dinner. I gave him his gift already, which is the, um, what I showed you guys earlier this week, the hammock and he loves it. He's already used it. And um, we're gonna go for dinner um, at a restaurant that my boss actually recommended. It's called Urban Dish and I am excited. I have to make reservations though because I want to make sure that we have a table. Oh, I look really red. I think it's because my skirt is bouncing off some weird light here. But I'm home and don't know why I just went up to the camera like that. Um, I'm trying to just like, there we go. Is that better? I hooked my skirt up a little bit. Um, anyway, I'm home and uh, as you can see behind me, there's a whole bunch of balloons because it's Bo's birthday. So I got him some balloons and a card and he's gonna be home soon. So I gotta hurry and put my sign up. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, these are the balloons. I got a couple heart ones and some stars and then this cupcake. Hello, so we just got home from dinner and I just wanted to show you guys quickly this um, DCM order that I got. Uh, first of all, the Bo's birthday dinner was amazing. I will link the restaurant we went to below. I'm sure you've seen snippets of the food by now and it was very good. I would definitely go back. So for my DCM order, I just got the email notification yesterday that um, a lot of the coverage and serum foundations were restocked. So a few months ago, I picked up the shade in 2.1Y, which I thought would be like the perfect shade because on my hand, it swatched beautifully. Um, then I realized that my hand was slightly deeper than my face. 2.1P <laughs> actually works much better for my skin. Um, 2.1Y is uh, just a little bit deeper. The difference between 2.1P and 2.1Y is just it's definitely the pigment. I feel like the pigment in the Y is deeper. It's not necessarily the tone. It's just like actually a deeper shade in my opinion. So when I got that email that said that they were back in stock 
and I checked today and they're still in stock. So I don't know when this video goes up, if they will still be available, but I picked up the Ordinary Coverage Foundation in 2.1P and then 2.1P in the Serum Foundation. So both of these shades are supposed to be like a medium with a pink undertone. Um, I, I'm more of a, I guess a cooler undertone, so I'm more yellow, but for whatever reason this one works well. So I am very excited. Um, they shipped very quickly. They came in stock yesterday. At least I got the email yesterday. I placed the order yesterday and it arrived today. I'm pretty sure that's how that went down. Otherwise, I might have placed the order on Tuesday and it ordered or shipped today or arrived today. Either way, much, much quicker turnaround time than previous, my previous purchase because I placed my previous purchase like I don't know, at the end of March or something like that. It took about four weeks to get to me. But yeah, this is what they look like. Very exciting. I also picked up the um, HA Blur from uh, the chemistry brand. And this is the Hyalgamide. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But they had a promo on this because it was like one of their best selling products of 2016 or something like that. Um, so regularly it's $19 and it was like half off. So good deal. It's essentially just a primer. Um, I love the ordinary high adherence primer. So I'm excited to see well how that's different. And then I also picked up a $2.50 spoon um, because I do have some of the jars from the Niod brand, uh, the, some of the masks and treatments and things like that. And because they're in the jar, I usually just use a special that I get free at Sephora. But I thought I would be bougie and get a stainless steel spoon. So I'm really excited about this. It's hard to visualize the size of it, but this is how big it is. So compared to, let's do the foundation, it is not quite as tall as the foundation. Um, oh, here's a travel, or this is a sample of a fragrance and it's just like a smidge taller than that. But how freaking cute is this? I kind of just want to buy more for um, serums and anything in a jar because this is super cute. And I just find that the plastic ones wear out after a while and this is stainless steel so it will last forever. Good morning, happy Friday. I am just at Starbucks. I picked up a beverage. Um, I have a busy day today because our schedule because of our, our um, employee event on Wednesday kind of got pushed a day. So today is my training day which kind of sucks because training just takes so much out of me. Anyway, I am doing that. I just got a Starbucks. I'm heading to work. Um, that's it. That's all I got for you right now. <laughs> Okay, this is the card that I got the bow. <laughs> so this is happy birthday to the most talented, sexy, witty, intelligent, gorgeous husband in the whole wide world. That's me. And then on the inside it says, it makes me wonder how you ever found a better half like me. <laughs> I thought that was funny. 